I first met Alan Roxburgh several years ago, I heard him speak and I remember the talk so clearly because I heard from Alan a few ideas that directly contradicted things I already thought and actually things that I was teaching and saying. And as soon as I heard him say those things, I thought, you know what, he's right and I'm wrong. Alan's a unique person. He's got a great history, an extraordinary amount of experience doing all kinds of different things and is able to leverage those things in pretty amazing ways. I just think Al offers a totally different way of being missional. He goes against some of the standard assumptions and does so in a way that shakes you up and makes you think. And uh, that, that's a tremendous gift to the church. Here is a fellow academic who uh, cares deeply about the church and is engaged with the church and writing about the church and talking with people and being involved in it. He's uh, academically rigorous and yet has enough experience on the ground that he really is able to take pretty complex ideas and, and help people navigate them. As well, he reads widely and he brings insights from other disciplines to bear, from uh, sociology, from history, uh, and, and uh, systems thinking and organizational development, and he brings those to bear on the church in very, very helpful ways. Al's book, The Sky is Falling, is really much more of a manifesto. It uh, provides leaders uh, fresh, imaginative ways and creative ways to lead in just a time of such massive cultural change. But I think Al's gift uh, is his deep conviction of the bringing together of multi-generational leaders from uh, different groups, from emergent groups and from denominational systems to help really think through um, what it means in this time and this place to navigate through these uncharted waters. The Sky is Falling um, is really a book that, that seeks to get at the question, what's actually happening? What, wh why is there so much change and turmoil going on? And secondly, what does it do to us? It helps leaders to pay attention to what's going on in their own head and the ways that they see and the ways that they, they evaluate uh, and the ways that they shrink their awareness or the ways they can expand their awareness. The key here is that the whole people of God be taken seriously as the source of uh, that sense of future, that God's future in the congregation is already within the people of God. And, and Alan understands that. And in this book, he you know, both gives a clarity about what that challenge is and why missional leaders are so important. And then he also describes how can we become those sorts of leaders? The subtitle is Leaders Lost in Transition, but what it does is I think it helps leaders to get their footing in transition. It seeks to give uh, pastors, leaders of local churches, and schools actually, a framework for understanding some of the shifts and changes that are going on in the sense of these changes are discontinuous. They, they are different from the ones we have been in for numbers of years. Alan describes that and, and from the point of view uh, that the leader can say, oh, that's what I'm experiencing. You know, I'm not going crazy. Uh, things really are different. And then he goes f further to frame a practical way uh, to actually move to being a mission-shaped church and a leader in a mission-shaped church. So it's both, I know, I can understand now why I'm experiencing what I'm experiencing, and now here's some practical things I can do to, to act on that. Alelone Publishing is really very excited about the launch of Al's book. It's, uh, it's going to be one of a series that revolves around engagement into Western culture. And our, our heart is to bring together theologians, missiologists, practitioners to really begin to think through what does it mean to be the church in our time and our place? And how can we provide practical resources and make public via print, video, um, essays, really the tools and the things that we need to lead and to cultivate communities of faith in, uh, in a time of just massive change. So we're, we're very excited. There's a, uh, Pat Kiefer's book is getting ready to come out. Uh, it will be a wonderful edition. And, uh, and then there's going to be probably about three to four others. And so we're excited to, uh, to be launching this initiative.